so here in this video i will be doing a distillation of this unknown compound and it is having some flammable compound maybe the ketones or the alcohol it's a little bit oily let's see if it is flammable yes yes you can see it's quite flammable and now I will set up for the distillation I will pour this solution into this vessel and uh, then I will heat it using this hot plate I already made a setup for uh, the distillation okay now I have to pour a water actually a cold water uh, for this distillation tube okay now we can start a collector vessel and uh, I have already started as you can see some of the bubbles rising even after 10 minutes I can't see any drop uh, maybe it's not getting uh, condensed let me see if you get flames no uh, it means we are not getting uh, any product actually uh, the the process is quite slow maybe because of this uh, low temperature the temperature we are getting with this uh, uh, heating plate is uh, around 95 to 100 degrees celsius uh, but still you can see uh, the 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 liquid drops are forming on the surface and uh, also on this pipe uh, the liquid condenses and uh, return back to this vessel hence uh, we will never get a product so I'm going to place this aluminium foil around this uh, uh, the, the neck of this bottle so that uh, the temperature remains high and the condensation uh, uh, breaks up and also I have increased the height so that uh, the, the liquid can flow towards this uh, condensation tube or uh, the distillation tube ok let me remove this pipe I think we don't need this And now we can see the liquid collected at the bottom and using this rubber pipe is a bad idea actually I had to use a glass tube the liquid getting collected at the uh, at the curve but still we got some of the liquid okay now we can remove the setup and uh, let's see the property of the liquid we have collected Okay, some of the liquid is still in this tube okay we got this few uh, ml of liquid collected uh, here you can see a few ml of liquid we have collected and now we can taste the sample uh, 
as you can see it has some oily substance inside uh, here you can see it forms a two layer uh, the upper layer is oily and the lower layer is like a water and also it containing some white precipitates let us keep it still to uh, to settle down this pre precipitates okay now as you can see we got a clear liquid let us collect it first of all I will take uh, the upper layer okay now I will collect the lower layer I will put it into the an another container so here we got these two samples one of them is oily and the another is uh, something like water let us mark it as U for upper layer and L is for lower layer the upper layer was oily and the lower layer was uh, water the sample L smells like uh, acetone it's something like acetone and this sample U is, is also something like uh, it is having a rough smell actually uh, quite similar to the acetone let's have a flame test the sample L burns quite good while the sample U is not flammable so maybe the sample L is the acetone while the U is I'm not sure what it exactly it is it feels cool so uh, surely it's from uh, ketone group maybe acetone and now this oily sample oils actually don't gives a cold sensation okay now I will test the protection per magnet solubility into the samples as you know the potassium per magnet is quite soluble in water and uh, also in alcohols and ketones so let us see if dissolves or reacts with the potassium per magnet Uh, as you can see here the sample L dissolves the potassium permagnet while the sample U is oily hence it don't gives any solubility L is acetone while U is still mysterious uh, I have to test it further but it's time to go okay hope you like this video and sure to subscribe see you in the next video